We begin tonight with words of warning from people who run a vital ferry service on the mid coast. The main state ferry services has five routes in the state. According to the Maine Department of Transportation, it serves 500,000 riders and 190,000 vehicles in Penobscot and Blue Hill Bays on average every year. Tourists and locals rely on those ferries to get to and from the mainland and the islands. And as New Center Mains and Baldridge reports, captains say there's not enough in their rank to keep things going. Ferry captains that go between Rockland, Vinyl Haven and North Haven say that staffing has become a huge problem. One captain I spoke with said he's about to work a 21 day stretch because if he didn't, the ferries wouldn't run. If we don't fill in, the boats don't run. For Kevin Hopkins, being a captain runs in his family. Before him, his granddad was the captain. Now it's up to him to keep it going. But at what cost? You know, when do you say physically, mentally enough's enough? Because you, you are getting burnt out for everybody else, and it's taking a toll on yourself. Hopkins says captains are supposed to work one week on and one week off, but this last pay period he worked 75 hours overtime and it doesn't seem to be getting any better. I have a 21 day stretch. Uh, it's 12 hour days. I get a half hour lunch break. Other than that, I'm in the wheelhouse all day with no breaks. With less captains to operate the ferries, the community is feeling the impact of missed trips. When the ferries don't run, things get really chaotic. And just like the people on the mainland expect good roads, the people who live on our island communities need the ferry to be reliable so that their lives don't get interrupted. And it's not just locals. Businesses expect crowds of tourists this time of year that also rely on ferry services. Reliable and affordable island transportation is crucial um, for those communities that are based on the islands to continue to succeed and have families and businesses into the future. If the state's committing to having ferry service, it needs to be reliable. Kevin and the 11 other captains employed by the state are working with the union to try and get better pay. Better pay that could mean more applicants to help relieve them and keep the ferries going. I hope the administration sees that things are serious and that we're not crying wolf. We're just saying, you know, something needs to happen before service is lost. In Rockland and Baldridge, New Center, Maine. The Maine Department of Transportation says it has been months since it's had to cancel a ferry run due to a crew shortage. It says it also recently added a new captain position to serve as a full-time relief captain to help cover vacations. The DOT says there are currently 10 external applicants for that position. DOT spokesperson Paul Merrill says in a statement in part, quote, we value these team members and want to make sure they are adequately compensated, but we believe the best way to productively discuss this issue is as part of the ongoing collective bargaining process.